Hey Hi everyone. guys, welcome back to those two Brits. Where are we today, Joel? Today, well, we're in Oxford, and today we're having a tour of Oxford Castle and Prison. And sorry, we've just found out how old it is. Leah, when was the castle built? It was built in the year 948. So it's not, it's strange because you can't even say 19, like you want to say a teen yeah. and then say the rest of it, but 940. Nine, which means it's over a thousand years old. Crazy, isn't it? Ridiculous. I mean, most of it was ruined, but mm -hmm. there are still some ruins here and then it got turned into a prison. So yeah. we're going to go for a tour and show you around today mm -hmm. and we hope you enjoy. Joe and Leah go to prison. <laughs> okay guys, we're very excited for this tour because apparently Oxford Castle and Prison, Joel, one tour of the year. One tour of the year. Guided tour of the year, yeah. So we have high, high hopes. High hopes for this. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, thank you. And you are currently standing in the coolest bit of Oxford that does not have any conditions. So enjoy this one. <laughs> this would have led off uh, onto the Chelsea Bridge, which is now the castle. Uh, William the Conqueror defeats Harold I at the Battle of Hastings and is crowned King of England. Now he gives the town of Oxen Forder to a Norman Baron, a man called Robert Doyley. Doyley decides to build Oxford Castle and he begins by building the Mott. I'm sure you will notice the hill uh, as we came in, very hard to miss. That is the Castle Mount and it was built in 1071 using 200 Saxon labourers. Good if you've got claustrophobia. No, it's not. Have you got claustrophobia? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> and as we go through the top, do all just watch your heads. Okay. A lot of stairs. So if you guys can bear more stairs and you want to go to the crow's nest, please feel free. Okay, thanks. How many times today do you do that? <laughs> Six. Six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did they do that? Oh that was a lot of stairs. I didn't show you guys <laughs> on the video, but that was a lot. I see lots of colleges from here. Yeah, you can. And um, we found out downstairs that lots of the prisoners would have been uh, students for drinking too much. <laughs> but you can't lock people up for drinking too much. No, sadly. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be in prison. We I'm joking. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse, though. During the 1640s, during the English Civil War, we were used by Charles I as a prisoner of war camp. These stairs are so steep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Original four. Built in 1074 by Robert Boyce Stonemasons. Doesn't smell too good down here. No, it smells very damp. It smells like my old flat. Oh, it smells <laughs> just like your room. <laughs> so, welcome, folks. Welcome to the crypt of St George's Church. As you can probably tell, we are underground and we are standing in all the remains of the old Norman chapel. This was built by Robert Doyle in 1074, about three years after he built the castle. I'm not joking. My leg's been twitching the whole time he's standing in here, and then at the end, she tells us that it's haunted in this bit because it's where they stored the body. Do you think the ghost was on your knee? Though? Yeah, the ghost is on my knee. Either that or the stairs made my leg fatigue. <gasps> You're such a good actor! Thanks. Rada. Rada. <laughs> Last used in England in 1833. I'm sure you folks have seen these before. Uh, you know, you might have been in them. As you are probably aware, the real pillory would not be uh, tucked away in a cell. You know, it would be out uh, in the city centre. And also the original pillory tended not to have a hashtag off the castle slashed across the side. <laughs> Um, it was just the place to keep you until your trial started. Prisons were privately owned and they were run for profit. So that meant that when you came to jail, you were responsible for the cost of your food, your clothing, your bedding, your blankets, medicine, water. So Mary, super rich, had a dowry of £10,000, had an absolutely delightful time in prison because she was so yeah, rich. That's why it looked like this, because she yeah, paid for it. She paid for it. That's like two and a half mil today's Gosh. money. Now to a deal cell. Right. Oh, it's this cell. What is it? What is it this That's one? what it looks like. And in the 1990s, when it closed, they had up to three men in there. Yes. Get the Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Lovely. Okay, you guys want to take care of the cell? Yeah. So, I know everyone's sent to quite random spots here, but I promise there is, there is one more reason <laughs> to it. Um, so, the Victorians start to really alter uh, how the prison system works. Under the Georgians, prison is a very chaotic uh, place. 
It's privately run, it's rather corrupt, it's very dirty, and jails are full of violence and gambling and drinking and vice and debauch. Um, under the Victorians, though, prison become a lot more formal. So they put all prisons under the control of the government. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are less under my toes. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Lovely, ready? One, two, three. Back to back, please. Synchronisation again. One, two, three. Gorgeous. I'm not being funny, guys, but my legs have not stopped shaking at the back, and I think the ghosts of the prison. Because you are open. I'm an open book, so I'm an entry passageway, and they're trying to communicate. I don't know if it was the first stairs that did it, but they're giving me shaking ever since. Yeah, I think it's you being open to ghosts. Oh my gosh. I'm quite closed off to ghosts, so they can't work through me. It's okay. We'll get out of here soon. granddaughter to William I, daughter to Henry I. And her father intended that when he died, Matilda would rule England as England's queen. Unfortunately, when Henry I passes, it soon becomes clear England is not quite ready to accept the idea of a female monarch. And Matilda's cousin Stephen decides that he will take advantage of this. Stephen declares himself king, and in doing so, plunges the country into a bloody civil war that lasts for the next 14 years, and which today we call the Anarchy. So apparently this is a wing, that building there, it's the old prison, Victorian prison. It's now a hotel, so you can actually stay in a prison cell in a hotel. We should have stayed there. We should have stayed there, that would have been so fun. We didn't know until no, now that no, that's, no. Uh, that was time. a prison, yeah. Next time. So, so the guided tour is now finished and then we're going to go and explore ourselves. But that, I think that's my favourite thing we've done all trip. Yeah, it was it's so, so good. good. Like obviously we weren't able to film all of the stories yeah. and stuff, but we found out some amazing stories that were, yeah. it was just really well delivered. Yeah. Our, so our tour by Rebecca was so good and she like told the stories and it keeps you really enthralled. Yeah, like, so in an good. engaging way. I don't know if it's because she's an actress as well, yeah, but probably. it was just really good. It's good. Are you just doing some prison work? Oh my god! You're not! So, apparently, prisoners would climb up, like, do so many steps, and so this is what they're forced to do. So, they were going to do, what was it? 57,000 times, like 57,000 steps. Yeah. And I just did five. You're exhausted. Exhausted. Well, what's that? Brad Pitt was in prison. No. Yeah. A wing of Oxford prison was turned into a Chinese prison for the filming of Spy Game. Yeah. Starring Brad Pitt. Yeah, oh, that's exciting. The that's, so cool. that's so cool. And then wow. Inspector Morse was also filmed in here for a location as well. Wow. Gosh, lots of filming stuff. Not just Harry Potter that was filmed in Oxford, guys. Do you want to go back down to the haunted room? I, because my legs won't stop shaking, I need to stop. Yeah, we need, need to, to get out of here and do the cleansing. Okay. Could do the massage, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> massage if possible. What story did you like the best? I think I really like the story of uh, Mary. Yeah. And the story before that, who was the story before that? Oh, the... Um, the guy who put a curse on everyone. Yes, that's a weird one. Yeah. There's a guy who got done for, he got put away for spreading anti-protestant anti propaganda yeah. and the country was Protestant at the time so he got put in jail and then um, he did it when he was like getting sentenced in court he was like put a curse on all the rich men or like all, yeah. the, the, yeah, all the old blokes that have got money and um, they all died like, and it was just no rich old died, men no children died but randomly 600 people died yeah or 900 I think like yeah. and they just all happened to be the guys that were in the court listening to him when he put the curse on. They were Crazy. still like, it's a mystery to this day. I love that. That's so it's good. It's so I good. It. Oh, this tour is sick. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep explore. Let's explore. She's fed up. She's been sentenced for unlawful wounding, seven days hard labour. She's like, what have I done? Frederick can't keep still, they couldn't get a clear one of him. That's no. So guys, this is the hotel of the prison wing we showed you. A wing. A wing, we should have stayed this here. Stay. Yeah. I, mean, I think it was the one of the places that was quite expensive. Yeah. So if you've got budget, stay here. <laughs> next time, next time. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I'm right opposite the hotel. They've got a restaurant and you've got some bars over there. Very cool. Right, that hill behind us is the yes. hill where you can spot Mary Blandy who got hanged. 
and they say that if you come here at night, sometimes you'll see her in her white clothes holding a white handkerchief over her face. We need to come next time and do a, a ghost tour yes, at night time. That's another really good thing that they recommend for Oxford, yeah. ghost tours. Because it's summer right now, it takes a really long time for it to get dark. So even at 9 pm at night, yeah. doing a ghost tour would just be like. It's still. Yeah, it's light. really light. Honestly, we've said it already in this vlog, but that was so good. It's I definitely really good. recommend coming to Oxford Castle in prison if you're in Oxford because that was mm. my favourite thing to do. That was so good. I think it Full was the storytelling. I know we've yeah. said it before, but when there's real stories, you get really hooked mm. in. Whereas when there's just things to look at and see and the history, yeah. it's, it is good, but it's more meaningful. And some tour guides can be so boring. And I think we lucked out. We had a really, really good, good tour one. guide. Yeah. Um, and she made the experience so good. Yeah. But so thanks yeah. so much, Oxford Castle and Prison, for having yeah. us. It was absolutely wonderful. It was so good. If this is your first uh, Those Two Brits video you've watched, be sure to subscribe to this channel. We post yeah. videos Videos showing you amazing places, historical places, mm -hmm. all the time. So, yeah. yeah. Subscribe and come back next See time. You next See one. you soon. Bye. Bye.